I feel like you've cracked the talk show code because yours seems like the most fun one to do. This is... I'm coming for your job, You're actually. coming for my job, but I'm coming for yours because you... I know you... that. I see you at every fashion event. <laughs> I feel like you've been coming for my job I know. For years. I, you know what? I can't seem to get the runway jobs you have. I don't know what it is. I'll lend you these shoes. <laughs> Thank so you. I will, you I'll, I'll start working on my calves now. Yes. Uh, so your show is you watch movies uh, live in front of an audience with close friends. Yes. It seems like a jackpot. It's like, wh what's not to love about that? In front of a live audience. In front of a live audience. And it really is, uh, I, I feel like I'm training for your job. I've got an earpiece in my ear. I've got cameras from every angle and a live audience. And it's a fun experiment. And it's, a, you're watching movies with my, with wonderful people. How, now you chose your favorite movies. What are some of the movies you've chosen? So, Finding Nemo, uh, Dirty Dancing. Great. Like classics. Yes. And <laughs> amazing, <laughs> classics. 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 I went to, uh, I went to film school and the first one we watched was Finding Nemo. <laughs> No, it's really fun. It's really, really fun. Yeah. And I mean it. It's like we we watch movies, and I've got some of my best friends on the show. And were you, what were you? Were you drinking something there? What was either? Oh tropical yes, punch we or... played games. Okay, gotcha. And we make snacks. I mean, it's like the ultimate movie night. That sounds the really. Ultimate girl snack. That's fantastic. Uh, I also want to congratulate you on Forbes's uh, 30 Under 30. That is a very Thank impressive you. accomplishment. And I. Very kind. I was in an event once where you won an award for your nonprofit, Code with Classy. This is where, this is a nonprofit you have where you're teaching young girls how to code. Yes. How did that come about? So I have been modeling for the last 10 years, and along the way. It'll happen I, for you. It takes a long time. Uh, 10 yeah, years, yeah. I know, but just keep at it. And I mean, it'll how many happen. years have you been at it? I've been modeling, at modeling 25, and I have I know, not gotten a I single know. job. Yeah. You're doing all right. Yeah. You're doing all right. We'll trade. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to learn what code was. It was like this crazy language or this secret language that people people knew that I was meeting all these entrepreneurs, and I wanted to understand what they knew that I didn't know. And code is just that. It's a language. And so I took a class, and there were mainly just guys at the school. And this is about three or four years ago? Around three okay. or four years ago. And it kind of opened my eyes to not only the power of what code is and how you can really use it in very creative ways and build really anything you want to. Um, and I, I realized that I wanted to reach out to the girls that that uh, I that follow me and and offer them opportunities to learn. And so, did you start it? It's fantastic. Uh, thank you. And do you know what? Do you know how to code? Do, do you know I know how to code? Is? I wouldn't even know how to start. How do I'll you start? You. What's the first thing camps. you do? You're so, on a computer. So you're at a computer. Yeah. And it's really just turn that. it on. You turn it on. <laughs> okay. And it's 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 a language like anything else, and you can build whatever. You want. And you so some of the girls that have gone through your program, is it like a camp? Is that how you set it up or? Yes, so we have camps across the country and we've taught hundreds of girls to and learn how to code. And they've developed apps. What are some of the apps that girls that you're coding I have? mean, the girls are amazing. These girls are 13 to 18. They're pre-college age and they're really kind of at that moment in life where they're deciding who they believe they are, what they believe they're capable of and deciding what they want to do with their life. And it's just this amazing moment to be able to you know, teach these girls a skill set that can be applied to any direction that they're passionate about. It's fantastic, and it's definitely a tool for the future. So yes. it's really impressive you, you did that. You should come learn with me. I'm gonna go to your coding camp. I can't wait because I think, <laughs> I gotta be honest. I think modeling might not happen. So <laughs> I just want to congratulate you on this. You uh, you ran the marathon yes. this year. Oh my god, that Are was. You a... Have you run a marathon? I have. I've run a couple, yeah. yeah. It is, uh, it's no easy feat. Were you a runner? Was that? I was did... never a runner. See, that's crazy. Never a runner. I have these long legs, but that running just was not my thing ever. And I decided, you know, what is the craziest thing that I could do? Well, probably running a marathon is up uh -huh. there. Um, and so it's a challenge I always wanted to tackle. And New York City Marathon is amazing. Were you recognized? Were people, did people know it was you over the course of the marathon? Yeah, I mean, I wore my name and, you know. Yeah, I'm so that helps. Covered in sweat. It was not the most <laughs> glamorous moment, but it's just this surreal experience running through the city, running through the streets. People are like, you know, cheering you on. You feel like you want to like melt into a puddle and people are like, don't stop, keep going. <laughs> That is great. That is yeah. a wonderful part about it. And I would imagine even if you were trying to hide, 
uh, you're gonna stand out a little bit just on a height level. You know, yeah, I didn't run in these, but. Yeah, you know. that's all right. Uh, and this is you at the finish line, which is fantastic. Yes, um, only girls. There you go, that is wonderful. I made my friends run with me, so. That's very nice of you. They got wrapped into uh, it. I know, I wanna ask you real quick, I know you're yeah. a bit of a sports fan. I know you're from St. Louis. sports fan. Um, the St. Louis Rams were a football team. They're not anymore. They moved to Los Angeles, and they're having a fantastic year. Can you take any joy in that? You know, I am a diehard football fan and supported the Rams for years. Good, the bad, the ugly. And, you know, I'm a St. Louis girl, so there's part of me that's a little heartbroken that they are no longer St. Yeah. Louis team. So, I'm a free agent looking okay, for gotcha. a new team to support. I've been supporting the Giants. All um, right, that's nice. I've got my own fantasy I, team. I invite all uh, the social media accounts of the 32 football teams to reach out to you on your social media, <laughs> and I'm sure they'd be yeah, very, very happy to have you. <laughs> yeah. uh, congratulations on everything, Thank Carly. You. It's always such a pleasure so to see you. To Carly Klaus, everybody.